We've started to get ourselves into a good run of form, but that's going to be tested today by two top quality teams, RB Leipzig and Man City. But I do hope that we can continue this run to keep us in the chase for that Champions League qualification place and also to be in the top four for the first time this season in the Premier League. Let's go. Hello there everyone, it is TIJ and welcome to episode 5 of season 4 of the Conquering Euro save on Football Manager 2019 with Liverpool. And today we have two very important games as aforementioned in the introductory part of this video. The first one's at Anfield against RB Leipzig managed by Julian Nagelsmann. You'll remember in the, I think it was about the second episode of this season that we didn't necessarily get battered by Leipzig but we did get a bit humiliated. It was 3-0 I think against Leipzig away from home. And it wasn't the best start to our Champions League group stage. But the group is very much still open. Valencia on seven points. Leipzig and ourselves on six. And Marseille on four. We want to make sure we get the competitive advance against Leipzig. Which means that we are have to score, outscore them by three. Which is going to be a struggle. But we're going to have to go for it. Uh, and by this point, it's not, it's not a usual thing that happens. And a regular thing that happens. But all teams can still qualify. And can still probably qualify by the end of today's game. Regarding, uh, not regarding, sorry. Providing that... Marseille win their match against Valencia. And that would actually help us out quite a bit as well. Because if that happens, and we win, we do go from third to the top of that group. Obviously, depending on the score, which I mentioned earlier. But as I've also mentioned, we're on a very nice run of form. And when I last saw you against Chelsea and Valencia, since then, we've won four and lost two, which isn't too bad. We lost against West Brom in the Premier League, which is a real surprise. Ultimately, they were just too good for us. And we lost 4 3. It was a close game in the end. We went 2 0 down from the first 10. Salah got one back. Then Pohan, Pojan Palo got a third one, and it went 4-1. Gnabry and Aguero got two back, but it was just two unassailable. And unfortunately, that wasn't great. But it did spark a bit of an, a revival in the squad. And we beat uh, Aston Villa 2-0 in the Carabao Cup. Then we beat Huddersfield 4-0 in the Premier League. Lost 1-0 to Valencia away from home. It was quite a tight game, but that goal just decided it. And then it was a similar story against West Ham, where Jorge Mir got the only goal of the game. And we also beat Southampton away from, goal, uh, from home to make it 2-1. So... In the state of the league at the moment, we're actually sixth place. Only one point off the top four. And it's quite unbelievable to say that if we beat Man City today in the second game, then we could, we'll only be two points off them. And potentially only three points. Uh, no, not three points. I've completely got my maths wrong there. But within touching distance, I'd say, of the Premier League leaders. And considering the start we had, we had a very poor start down as low as about 11th at one point. In fact, 13th was the lowest we've been. I think it's a very good record to get back where we've been. So hopefully we can continue that today. But the squad that starts this game against the Leipzig side isn't really that familiar. I've gone very much with a basis of players who have played well in the last few games because I feel like they deserve the chances in the team. And the likes of Gnabry, Henderson and Gomez who have been quite, quite playing quite poorly lately shouldn't really get a start. So we've got Lafont in goal, who's become the regular in that position just lately. Then Torre, Van Dijk, Mia and Robertson are the back four with Fabinho and Cater in the middle. It's Cater's first game back after an injury that's laid him off for about six weeks. Salah and Trincao on the wings. Again, Trincao, eight assists this year. Brilliant. And Salah, the top goal scorer. And then Balotelli and Aguero with 11 goals between them so far up front. So hopefully that's more than enough in terms of strike power with those two wingers as well as the two strikers. I have to say that neither Aguero or Balotelli have really got into first gear yet this year. Um, they've scored the odd goal but not done too well. So I hope the likes of today... Possibly not the City match, although I can guarantee you do remember when we beat... We, we actually drew with City, didn't we? We did beat them, but we drew with them free each at the Etihad at the start of last season. Balotelli got a hat-trick. And I wouldn't say no to that today. That would be brilliant. But hopefully, um, we can get past this game first. Let's not think about the City game. Let's focus on getting past this one first, because this is going to be crucial. If Leipzig win today and Valencia also manage to beat Marseille, then we're out of the Champions League, which would be a bit, a bit gutting. Uh, but not the worst thing in the world, but also at the same time, not the best. So... It's a little bit catch-22. Do we want to focus on the league? Yes, but do we also want to maintain that Champions League presence and do well in this Champions League? Then yes, I do think so. And anything can happen after the group stages. We all know what can happen in the Champions League. It can get pretty bonkers. Derm for Leipzig to Gal... Gal I don't know. Max Jan, that's a nice and easy name. It's back to that bugger who's got the weird name. Back to Brooks. John Brooks. Sounds very German. But a poor pass from him. Puts it to Kata. Beautifully through to Balotelli. Balotelli won one of the, with the keeper. Shoot. Oh, it's just wide. He went too wide there, funnily enough. He went too wide. He, he, he cut too much into the box and should have just gone straight. Trying to take on that player that was trying to intercept the ball. And, uh, yeah, he should have got that in the back of the net. So, definitely, um, Balotelli isn't necessarily on his way out. But he's not been the best this year. And I hope we get a bit of a revival from him um, in the next few games. But to be quite honest, I, I wouldn't be too shocked if he doesn't have a brilliant season. At the end of the day, he's 
been with us for three years now. He's had two stellar years. He did sign on a free, remember? And, you know, it's been... He's been a lot better than anybody could have imagined. So if he doesn't do too well this year, I can kind of forgive him for that. The only problem is we have Sal Firmino, which means that he has to take part as our main striker. But I am going to say something that's a fact at the moment because I feel like it might change very quickly. All of the teams on this group are now with seven points. That's incredible. That is absolutely fantastic. And that could still stay the same into the last game. That could be brilliant. Um, particularly if there's two draws, that would be quite a turn up for the books. But I have to say... And I said it before we started the, with the group and when the groups got drawn out. It is a very close group. There's four very good teams in this group and I wouldn't be surprised if it's close. And it can't get any closer at the moment. Valencia, Liverpool, Leipzig and Marseille all on seven points. But if we have anything to say about it, we will certainly try and be top of that group by the end of the day. Because if Marseille beat Valencia, that's how it stays. A bit gutting for them that they stay um, last. Leipzig will obviously go to last if we beat Leipzig today. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's it's certainly a weird one. Just checking this a minute. Yeah, that's fine. Checking the good old iPad, but that's a good, good ball through. Now, can we do what they did to us? No. That's the long and short of it. Leipzig have took the lead just after the second half started. Not the greatest. Not the greatest at all. As it stands, we're still in the hunt, but... Uh, if we do lose this match, then that means that Leipzig, for some reason, the table's not updating. Hmm, odd. Salah back into the box to Trinko. Oh, I was going to say, well, that's why it's not updating, because we just got one back. But no, for some odd reason, it's not altering. But if it puts it down as a draw, I'm, near, I'm really not bothered. But not the best game. There we go. Valencia back ahead as well, so not the best for us. In fact, it's only a draw, but uh, yeah, it's not the best for us if it ends like this. Mia out to Fabinho. Nothing really going of it, though. Leon Bailey now on the ball for Leipzig. Goes a bit wider. Robertson tries to intercept, and he certainly does. Oh, no, Robertson's off. Oh, no, it's Fabinho. It's Fabinho who's conceded the challenge. Um, he's not on a yellow card, and I don't think he'll be sent off for that. At least I don't think so. We're quite good in terms of our discipline, but he's off. Wow. Apparently, Fabinho went in with his two feet. We can't see because of the 2D cam, but that's a killer, that is, for us. Um, and we're going to bring Aguero off for Henderson. Play with just a one-striker setup. Not really much we can do, uh, but we had to bring him on. Uh, it just seems sensible. We're going to put Trinkau as an attacking forward um, and maybe bring the fullbacks back a little bit. That makes more sense to me. Um, and we'll see how we get on. We're a bit, yep, we're a bit more direct. Focus play down the right and the left. Pass into space. Uh, yep, play for set pieces. Long kit. In fact, throw it long. Uh, extremely urgent and prevent short goalkeeper distribution. Well, we're down to 10 which makes our job a hell of a lot harder now. But we're still in it, in my opinion. It's not all over yet, but it would be a killer if we lost this because we then have to go and beat Marseille in the last match and make sure that um, Leipzig go and beat Valencia, basically. Because we can't overtake Leipzig as it stands. And we have to go and beat Marseille and Valencia have to lose. And that's not the easiest thing that will happen in the world. But a good ball from uh, whoever that was there. I didn't quite catch it. It was and Balotelli. He comes out sometimes, just some stellar, fantastic things. When It's just when you're not expecting it. When you're not expecting it, Balotelli does the unexpected. Trinkout was who put the lovely ball over to Salah that started this move. 55-yard ball, apparently. Platten hard for he got it out, but Balotelli said something different. A lovely volley, and that's in the back of the net. We're going to go cautious now, just to make sure that we can hold out this draw, because that's what we need at this point, but I'm not um, going defensive or anything like that. It's not Groot, we want, we want Gomez. Uh, we're not going to go too defensive, we're just going to stay in the game, be a bit more defensive and embrace the defensive movement, but just make sure that we're still in the game uh, in terms of our attacking presence, so yeah, let's do that. We'll bring Gnabry on for Trinko now, he's had a good game, but he's a little bit tired and not been the best in terms of rating, and I think we might well get a draw out of this, oh dear, now Balotelli's been took off injured, well, oh, why did Grucic come on? Oh dear, well, it's that's funnily enough set up a brilliant plan. Uh, we can put Salah up front, can't we? Not the best tactic in the world, but pff, what else can we do? Um, a bit odd that Grucic came on. I must have just clicked the wrong button, but that's a bit frustrating. Um, and we'll put you as a box-to-box. -box. Uh, you back here. And we'll put you as a Mazala. I can't see us getting much out of this now, but weird things do happen in FM. We're down to nine men now. Nine men. That seems crazy. I'm sure Leipzig, really, we should all be all backs to the wall here because, yeah, we need to make sure we stay in this game. And with nine men, that's going to be particularly difficult. But you never know what's going to happen. And uh, hopefully it's not a goal for Leipzig here. But I've seen stuff that's very weird in this game. 
Um, and that possibly might mean that we get a goal. But it might be something we live to regret now, not going all backs to the wall. But we are defending nicely here. So it's not necessarily a foregone conclusion that Leipzig will get the goal. Although it looks like they might well do here. Derming to Demata and it's a goal for Leipzig. And we've got to go attacking now. Even though we haven't really got too much of a, of a, yeah, of a chance here to be honest. But that's a bit frustrating. We were down to 10 men because of Fabinho's ill discipline. They're a bit unfortunate with Balotelli. Um, and we've, uh, with 9 men it's a real struggle to get back into it. Definitely not the player's fault on this occasion. You can say it's Fabinho's fault. But it's no good um, laying the blame on one singular person. You know, we, we played decently today, but just a bit unfortunate. And I think we'll just tell that to the players. We have been a bit unfortunate, to be honest. Um, it was it, it could have won out there, but with nine men in the last ten minutes, it was pretty much impossible to do anything. I'm just wondering about what Balotelli's injury is. Because if he's out for a while, we've only then got Aguero and Ben Woodburn, who's injured, um, to play. Balotelli's out for three to four weeks. Oh, dear. Oh dear, yeah, we are gonna. We're not gonna appeal against the banner. We're gonna fine Fabio one week's wages. Fabio Fabino. It's not um, back at Manchester United blowing, but hopefully we can do something a little bit different against Man City. Although I think our chances are a little bit scarce. So we've lost Balotelli through injury, and now apparently Aguero wants to leave. Publicly announced he might move under the Bosman rule at the end of the year. Yeah, it's not the best year, but he's on about, well, I haven't played enough matches. Well, you've had six, you've had 11 appearances this season. How many games have we played? We've played 14, 19, possibly 20, 21. 11 appearances really isn't that bad, but apparently he's took offence to it. But he's got to play today because there's no other option, unfortunately, because Balotelli's out between three and four weeks. And Robertson's also out for the same amount of time, so lovely jubbly. Lafont, Torre, Van Dijk, Gomez and Moreno play in the... Um, Defence positions, we have Henderson and Cater in the midfield, Salah and Trinkau on the wings, and Woodburn and Aguero are two strikers today. We are really going to struggle, I think, against Man City today. Now, because we've lost Balotelli, we've lost Robertson, and because Aguero now wants to leave the club, we've got a real issue. And uh, it seems that when I record these episodes, that things start to fly about to make things uh, a bit awkward. But hopefully, against his old team... Aguero might find a bit of inspiration. I'm not quite sure whether we can win him round by giving him starts. He hasn't played that well, ultimately. So, if he does leave, it's not the end of the world. But if he starts playing well, then we're going to have to start playing him more regularly. And I hope he does do well, because if we've got Balotelli out and he's unhappy, then the only other person there is Woodburn. And I'm sure Woodburn will come through in the end, but I don't think he's going to be the 20-goal-a-season striker that we're looking for anyway to start off with, but Man City have got an early attack, we should have really gone counter-attacking in this game, because I didn't fancy ourselves to be the dominator, but a really good save from um, Lafont. fair play, one-on-one, -on -one, um, with Jesus, I think it was, who had the shot there, and uh, I think we'll take a draw today, we'll very much take a draw, we're not going to go for that nil-nil malarkey, but we're going to go cautious to counter-attack it, uh, counter uh, make sure we keep it in our own area, really, but we're still going to be... Um, you know, good in terms of our pressing. We're going to make sure that we focus play down the right and the left. And we're, and we're going to try and get into this game. It'd be daft to say, well, you know, City are a better team. They've got the better resource at this point of the season, so we're not going to battle against them. But if you look at the stats, in, certainly in the first 12 and a half minutes, we're not doing that bad. I mean, it sounds ridiculous to say, well, we can't compete against City, but given the resource we've got, it's going to be a bit of a struggle. Um, but considering the... You know, the, the stats and all that at the start. It's been a pretty good start for us. So let's see what we can make of this. And it's a good ball from Salah to Woodburn. Nothing unfortunately comes of it though, which is a real shame. And Man City have now got the counter-attack looming for them. De Bruyne. It, it's inevitable, I'd say, that City are going to score at some point in this game. It's just a case of when, not if. Asensio to Dybala. This could be the goal. The first goal for City. Dybala out to Hernandez. Hernandez is going to be the goal here. Hernandez into the box for Sane. Van Dijk gets it out, but it's a bit of a scramble and Gabriel Jesus somehow from that gets the... <coughs> Pardon me. He gets the finishing touch from that somehow and I'm completely bewildered as to how that happened, but I'm not going to watch it again. We're going to go past this and I think we're going to try and be a bit more positive in our play because sitting back against Man City is never going to work ultimately. And uh, yeah, we need to be a bit more forward thinking. And try and get back into this game. But I'm not sensing it today. I think that we're not playing too well. But we could surprise ourselves. It's a good ball from Moreno into Salah. And to be fair, that was very close to being our first goal of the game. So good stuff. All of our shots have been on target so far. It's definitely a positive to look at. And if the goalkeeper didn't make a good save there, then we would be back in the game at one each. Moreno. Moreno, good pass to... Mm, 
crap pass, in fact, to Keita. Uh, but a good stuff from Trincao to intercept one of their players. Woodburn to Salah. Salah, the top goal scorer. Can't quite beat Edison. It seems that Salah's got a bit of a vendetta against Man City. He's tried to get a few goals today. But unfortunately, they haven't quite come off yet. But, uh, you know, we... <laughs> We've been a bit unlucky so far. I don't think we played that badly. Again, all of our shots have still been on target, regardless of whether we took five now, so fair play. And, uh, yeah, we're not playing that badly at all, but I feel like City are going to dominate this game and possibly get another goal now. Dybala to Sane, good tackle from Toro. We're going to be have to be very defensive-minded today um, because we haven't really got the attacking players to suffice. Um, but, you know, we're playing decently. City are going to be attacking quite a lot. But to be fair, we've been attacking quite a lot as well. We haven't been that bad at all. Um, our pass completion rate isn't the best. But hopefully that improves um, a little bit over the next 10 minutes. Certainly going into the second half. Woodburn. Woodburn to Salah. Salah. Oh, it's been really unlucky as Mo Salah. That's now three shots. Our first not on target, but he's had three shots. I think it's a harsh that he's rating 6.3 because he's worked his socks off from what I've seen. And we could genuinely be 3-1 up. It's just one of those that... If it's the other side of the post, it's in, and uh, it's a bit of a shame, that is. But it's the end of the half. We're going to give the players a bit of a, a, a talking to, a bit of a telling off. Only for motivational purposes, not to get them down in the dumps, but just to motivate them uh, and get them a bit fired up. Because I think that's what we need at the moment, uh, and hopefully we can get an early goal in the second half. That's exactly what we'd want. Um, I didn't really want to tell the players to concentrate, but who knows? It might have a good effect on the players. Who knows? Nope, they've all been overwhelmed, but weird things have happened in FM where they're all overwhelmed and they go and score. So that's that's one of the weird things that can happen. But City are, um, yeah, absolutely... Well, what's the word? They're, they're all bunching around the box. Couldn't think of the word there, but they're all bunching around the box. But uh, we're putting some good pressure on, which is nice. But I feel like this could be a second goal for City here. Hernandez, good fall through. Van Dijk gets it out initially, but Keita can't stop Asensio. Now it's round two for Man City and Sane into the box for Jesus. Good stuff. It's round two again. And that's a good shot from De Bruyne. But it just skims the top of the bar. And we're still in it unbelievably. It's still only 1-0. And there's been a hell of a lot of chances today. I'm really shocked it's still 1-0. We're going to bring Brewster on actually for Ben Woodburn. I fancy him as a bit of a decent player. We're going to change um, Aguero to a poacher. And we're also going to take Trincao off for Gnabry. Um, bit of a risky decision I know. Um, but we're going to push the left but the full backs back. Um, and put all the attacking players on attacking mentalities, hopefully, just so we've got a bit more um, of a presence in the attacking area. And, uh, yeah, we, ne we need to do something to win this game, ultimately. And hopefully, um, we can do exactly that. Right, there's still 25 minutes to go. So let's tell the players we demand more out of them, just so they're conscious that we're not going to accept a loss. We need some points at least here. But it's not going to be the easiest thing to do, and I feel like City are definitely the favourites to get a second goal, rather than us getting a... And equalise. It would be a real big shame. It would be our first loss in the Premier League for a while. But I wasn't expected to win this game. You know, City, it's a hard game. Um, but we still have to be positive. We've not been the worst team in the world today. We could have been battered, but it's not all over yet. I mean, we, you know, we, we can't be too quiet yet. But we could have a counter-attack here, but Gnabry's just put quite a poor, poor ball up. So, it's not going to happen. Van der Beek. Van der Beek to Jesus. This could be a second now. I've said this a lot, but Sane on the ball on the edge of the box. Puts it in, does he? No, he puts it back to Hernandez. To be fair, Toro would have probably intercepted that. Van der Beek to Philippe Luiz to Jesus. And oh, it's just wide. Honestly, I am just waiting for that second Man City goal. I'm really surprised it hasn't come yet. But it's going to come at some point, I feel. But it's not come quite yet. 15 minutes to go here. Um, and we're going to make our final sub. Bring uh, Grucic on, not Fabinho, after what happened with that terrible tackle um, he made in the last match. But come on, we've got 10 minutes left. Can we get anything from this? This I keep saying it. I'm not going to say it this time. Um, Sterling. Sterling out wide against Dybala. Dybala to Louise. Can we get anything on it? No, we can't for now. Good stuff from Grutich. Now get the ball up. Now go. Good pass to Brewster. I don't really think he's going to make too much out of this, but he could surprise us. Brewster. Over to Salah. Salah. Oh, poor from Aguero there. Really poor from Aguero. He could have made something out of that. And now City have the counter. Jesus, Van Dijk sorts it out to Lafont. Hopefully we can get this out and get the ball again. Brewster doesn't win the aerial battle. Bit unfortunate there. Van der Beek. I'm a bit gutted with Aguero there because that was a good chance. Sane. Over to Sterling. This will be 2-0. No good save from Lafont. Quite a poor pass. Uh, quite a poor shot even from Raheem Sterling. And we're still in this game. We only need the one counter-attack and I think we're back in it. Brewster on the ball again. Brewster to Grucic. Good ball up to Keita. But Man City have now got the control again. Sane, good ball over to Sterling. They are quick sometimes if Sterling takes the... Sh no, it's, it's wide. They've had a lot of shots, to be fair. They should be quite a bit up, but we're, we're going to 
take that as an advantage because we only need one more chance and we can get a point out of this game amazingly. But I don't think it's going to come. I don't feel it. I might be wrong, but I just don't feel it coming here. A few minutes to go. We're going to go very attacking now. Um, just go extremely direct. Make sure that we're doing all that fancy stuff. Um, any chance that we can win this game, we're going to embrace. We're going to try and do it. But I don't think we are going to get a point out of this. Which is really, really unfortunate because City haven't been on their, their A game today, I don't think, it seems. Um, we haven't been either, of course, but we haven't played too badly in the end. But there is still two minutes to go. I feel like this might be a City goal, though, because we've gone too attacking. But you never know. Gomez. Poor pass. Yeah, this, this will be 2-0, surely. Sane. Sane. To Felipe Luiz. Good interception from Grouch. Here we go. Brewster. Brewster to Gnabry's. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Gnabry shoots it in! Two minutes to go in this game, and Serge Gnabry gets a goal to make it one. It's a brilliant assist from Rian Brewster. Great stuff from him. And he makes sure we get, and I don't care what people say, whether it's undeserved or not, but it's a point against Manchester City. What a performance. What a goal that was. I said we only needed the one counter-attack, and it seems that going very attacking has worked. I'm going to tell the players to push forward. It's not going to mean much at this point. Um, but with 60 seconds to go, anything can happen. And that is brilliant. We've got a point. Um, and every point matters at this stage. It just shows that we are still a determined squad um, and anything can happen. But a good ball from Gomez, I don't think anything's going to happen now. Surely it's not going to turn around um, all the way. It's a bit of a heads and volleys game there, but one each. Wow. If that one doesn't deserve a like, I don't know what will. But thank you very much for watching, folks. That was a great end to the episode. Bit of a, a, a miserly and melancholy episode else. But a great end to that episode with the goal from Gnabry there. And I think that one deserves a like. Comment down below your thoughts. Subscribe for daily football manager content. But apart from that, folks, thank you very much for tuning in tonight or today or this afternoon or this morning or even at midnight. Who knows? But thank you very much for watching, folks. I've been TIJ and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.